Hi everyone, welcome back to Jutega, and welcome back to Sweet Transit. I am continuing to expand our production over here. Uh, so these guys are currently producing paper, and we just need to tie those into books. I don't remember how to do books. <laughs> That's my biggest problem right now. Uh, I think we have books in one of these, right? At least that's what I thought. How do you make books? So we have paper, but how do you make it into books? Uh, I guess if we're going for a school, we should probably build one in Philadelphia. Uh, so for a school... Reach a population of 2,000 craftsmen. Yeah, I don't think so. 2,000 craftsmen is not going to happen there. Uh, how is it going here? Uh, you will not reach 2,000 craftsmen either. Because you're, you're not even trying to grow. I guess you are a little bit. So maybe we can expand this a little bit and see if... At some point maybe we can get some more production. We are really doing horribly with production but I want to get books up and running and then maybe we can take that to help with the production of everything else um, we kind of over did the, the uh, bricks and then the diesel is just not really keeping up so yeah we're gonna expand this a little bit Something like that. That should be pretty good. And do we want to do the same here? Sure can. Something like that. You and you. Now then, we have every second one, so this one should have one, and this one should have one. You're actually on the wrong side of all this. Should be there, and a market here. That should cover everyone there, uh, and then we can continue expanding these into higher level ones. If we had what we needed for it, which unfortunately we don't. We have a little bit of stone, but bricks is a bit behind. So we'll do... Come on, there we go. There, that means that you guys don't have enough work. There isn't even anyone, anyone living here, so why are we complaining about not having work? <laughs> uh, maybe we can make a bookstore over here in Novgorod. Is that an option? You have a lot of the high level guys and you're a town hall, so what do you actually need? You need a bar to be able to grow even bigger. And we can build a bar right here if we get the necessary details for it. Sad part is that they're becoming really, really negative once they get once they get the uh, like bar stuff, if you don't supply it, it's unfortunate. Uh, we do have stuff coming in now, so we should see this going back to actually producing. We are having a lot of standing around here, so this is the kind of issue we're having. All of these guys are just slowing us down completely. And that's just because we are not actually stockpiling any uh, diesel. And that's because we're running out of wood or stone right here. So we actually set up in between episodes. I added diesel, so we have a specific diesel train going to here. Uh, but yeah, since we can't actually keep up with diesel at the warehouse, it doesn't really matter how many diesel trains we add there. Okay, so uh, I was able to place a bar in 
Where is it? Here we have our bar in Novgorod. So that helps a little bit, but uh, even if we're supposed to place a school and a bookstore, I would like to be able to make the bookstores in uh, here in Yetega. Uh, but that's just not an option. Uh, we need to produce a bar if we're gonna do that. Which I mean, that's not impossible. We can we can get a bar done. That's that's fine. Um, actually, maybe it's not as hard as I thought. I think after the bar, that's when we get the bookstores. So maybe we are fine. Let's give it a second and see what's happening here. But yeah, I think that's how it works. If we get to be able to actually get the bar down, we should have the bookstore next. Because I replaced the bar in, in uh, Novgorod and we got the bookstore there. So unless there is some sort of like have X amount of workers, we should be able to do it here. And I mean, we can expand this to utilize more workers if that needed. Do we, if we need more than, than what we have, we should be able to do that. They're kind of complaining about not having work anyway, so... We are losing cash quickly, we're already in debt. Uh, and it's all because of this. The fact that these guys just refuse to produce enough fuel for us. And a lot of that is because we are running out of stone and stuff. So we have a massive amount of stone here. But our trains are constantly out of fuel like this. Which just isn't gonna cut it. And these guys are just standing around, like all of these black trains are fuel trains, except for two of them, which is this one and this one. Those are both copper uh, coal trains. Yeah, we're using so much fuel at the moment. We're not really able to to keep up, even with currently we have 19 trains. So it's not an issue that we can't deliver enough. It's an issue that we can't produce enough. And if we look at our production for diesel, we can see that we are actually using... Let's do a minute instead. So for diesel, we're using about... I've seen up to two and a half grand here. Right now it's really low because we're not producing almost anything. So yeah, we're gonna have to do something about the fuel before we can continue our production of books. I was hoping we could use the books to fix the fuel, but it looks like we're gonna have to fix the fuel to use the books. So... But I'm not sure what we can do about fuel. I think we kind of just have to hope that it sorts itself out. Because I can't increase the production very much either. Maybe we have some trains over here that's doing more than what they need to? Not really. We could tell these guys to go... Maybe up here instead? How many trains are going to this one? 46 to that small station. 48 to this one. Yeah, that's not that big a difference actually. This is holding back a lot of trains though. So if we can tell you guys to instead maybe go here, when you go the first time. And this is completely fucked. I don't understand this. I have put this up to say that, hey, if you have clay, I even had it just say clay first. Um, you should prefer to go here with an idea that it's thousand tiles closer to go into this lane than any other place. Despite that, these idiots are just standing around here. Which is so annoying. I don't know what to do about that. These guys understand what they're supposed to do. But for some reason, these are not. Play is just stupid. If I move the... Requirement signal to here. 
Why can't I? There we go. Uh, so we say this one limit name root, and then we reserve one for clay here instead. Because the issue is that we're eventually getting all the clay stopped up right here, and we get nothing out of it. Get this damn backlog though. What are we gonna do with this? This is insane. It just never ends. It just goes and goes and goes. Thing is that we can produce when we are running at full speed. Uh, we can produce 2400 every minute. Currently we are using uh, 300. That's not not representative at all, actually. <laughs> Never mind. Actually, don't know what what we should expect. How much fuel we are actually supposed to be using? Let's tell these guys to go directly to the warehouse from Novgorod. There is rarely any stopping going to the warehouse. It's going back that they're running out of fuel constantly. And that's just because of this. Like this uh, bumper traffic that's right here. It is killing fuel, dude. It's horrendous for fuel economy. Yeah, it kills the deliveries for food and stuff as well, so we don't have enough personnel to actually work everything. And then we don't have enough stone and stuff to produce either, so yeah, it's just rough. It's just rough. And our bricks production is not working as it should either, so... Bad times. And then we get a few good deliveries, like now we had three fuel trains going in one go. And that's good. But then eventually we get nothing delivered for a little bit as well. Which just sucks. Wonder if we're running any normal coal trains anywhere. I think almost all of our trains are moved over to to diesel actually. Which is kinda understandable. We're using 333 trains at the moment. Uh, which means that we have 666 plus a few engines. Maybe we can mathematics this one. So if they that is true, and they all draw 7.2 per minute, I'm gonna round it to 7. And let me open the calculator here. Get to see a little bit back to, behind the scenes here. Uh, so if we have 7... 7 each minute, and we have 666 trains. That means that we are using 4,662 every minute if they are continuously driving all the trains. I don't think that's gonna happen. Maybe we have something like a 70% uptime or something like that. We end more like 5 per minute. But it's still 3,300. Uh, hopefully some of those trains will not be running constantly. <laughs> uh, because yeah. That's a bit much. I think we cannot do more than about 2.8 maybe when we have everything going here. It's 2.4 with uh, the uh, limit. And then we can do another 50% with the uh, tools. And we can do another probably 100%. Yeah, another 100% with books. So technically if we get books and tools... We should be able to do this. And if we can get a bar in here, which we are actually, well, we were making money for a little while here, uh, we would be able to do that. Let's see how this goes. We are actually delivering quite a few wood trains now. And the bricks are slowly coming in as well. Okay, this went a lot better really quickly once I 
fixed up this uh, bricks production that we have here. Looks like that actually made a massive difference. Should be getting the bricks that we need now. So if we unpause, there should come a train into the station. Yes. Build that. Build one here. And build two there. Don't build two there. Okay, we're actually building up books now. Not a lot, but a little bit. And if we can bring books over here. Ooh, this is good. Yeah, if we can bring books over here. That will be fantastic. Jiga to Novgorod Cargo. We do yeah, we do have enough money maybe for a train. Fairly certain it's these that take books. Yes. Then we have a train that will deliver books to Novgorod. And I'm fairly certain that once that gets delivered, these guys will get a little bit more to do. Of course, 15% is not very much to do, but <laughs> if we get some stone and some bricks together with this, I think even without that, if this bumps up to 115%, this will be crazy. I don't think that's how it works. I think it's multi multiplicative with how much we are already producing. So it's not just going to solve everything for us. Regardless how much I would have enjoyed that. Okay, let's follow our book train all the way to... Jitega? That's what it was called, right? I'll never learn that name, but... Uh, I think this is the train that's gonna turn this playthrough around. I have a good feeling that this is, this is it. This is when we are stopping the issues with fuel. And if we get fuel sorted, stone should have the production it need, bricks should have the production it need, wood is questionable, but it should be very very close. Yeah, I have a good feeling about this, I think we're gonna do well here. It appears we have some traffic issues. <laughs> uh, we're here. It's not like you just do a UE with a train, apparently. So, yeah. Good part is that since we will be coming from this direction, we won't have to wait for all of these guys to and I go through, we will be able to cut the line and, and deliver books a, a lot quicker than anything else. Which is good. That would suck if we needed to get away, like, remove all this traffic before we would be able to deliver books. Here comes our books producers. This should be good. This should be good. If, you, if we can fill this guy up completely with books, which honestly I'm not sure that we will be able to. How much books do we have? We have 134 books. Uh, oops. How are we doing here? We are out of... Really? How much fucking wood are you using? 180 per minute? And we are producing what? Nada. Are we not producing any? How are we not having any wood? <laughs> no wonder we're not producing. Let's plunk down some sawmills here. Something like that. Get you guys to go this way. Okay, so that's four. Wood production, that is 12, 240. That should get these guys working again. 
Yes. And they get a bunch of books. And all of a sudden they're using 270 per minute, so we need another one. Uh, if we can find a train that delivers cheese, I guess it's easier to just hit the Mogadishu station. And then check here for cheese. And then we just make a copy of you. Instead of Nodgoron, it's Git. Gitega, right? Learning. Learning. Gitega, yes. And we tell them to go here instead. And then we need some trains on that. And we have 649 bucks to our name. So, uh, what's happened? You will not be getting any more than what you already have. Maybe we have improved a little bit on the backlog here at least. Previously we were all the way down here, but it could be temporary as well and it will fill up fairly quickly. Do we not have anywhere to deliver this and that's why we cannot unload it? Oh, that sucks. So we actually need one of these to be able to even hold the books. Okay, uh, so money and bricks is what we need to be able to deliver these. That is such an annoying system. I totally agree that it should, it should be that way, but when you're in this situation it's just annoying. Just let me deliver the damn books, they're literally standing on their train. Okay, 400 bricks, coming up on 20 grand for these. Might actually be able to get the bookstore down now then. So if we get that there... Are we delivering books now? I think we just did. Hell yeah! Did you get any books? Of course you didn't. All of the books goes to these guys, so they can produce even more raw oil that we don't need. You idiots. Okay, we have a lot of stuff now in general at least. And this is going well. Can we get... What is it called? Tools over here as well, maybe. What about the tools guy that we have going up to Novgorod? Tools to Mogadishu. I guess we can just make a copy of you. Delivery. And it should be... Gitega. And we're gonna have it go... To there instead. So annoying with this uh, intersection that you have here. Because what it does is it forces the trains to kind of swap in between them, one after another. So now this guy will go to the right, right? And then this one will go to the left. And then this guy will be stopped. And uh, when he went in the middle, it didn't impact as much. But yeah, if you have them like changing lanes here every time, which happens if you have like a backup and all trains are as fast as like in regular, this guy was a lot faster because he already had fuel. What are we doing with uh, books here? 484 so far. I think I'm gonna wait to a thousand and see if we can get some of that to actually work here instead. Because we have pegged the crude oil. So wasting a bunch of books for crude oil kind of sucks. Wish you could tell them that hey, you should not actually be using any books at all. Don't touch them, they're not my, not yours. Yeah, the problem is that these guys, the actual pump jacks, only need stone to work. While these guys both need stone and a lot more bricks than stone on top of that. So, while we have stone, these guys can actually produce, but we need these guys to be able to actually produce, which needs bricks as well. And if we don't have stone, we don't have enough for bricks. But we still have enough stone for these guys to work every now and then. Now you can see how they will be stopping. 
So this guy is holding up this train. He could otherwise go into here and this guy could have gone here himself. But instead he holds him back and then this guy goes. And had we another guy behind that we would have him stopped up as well. Why can't I prioritize where the books should go? Why is that not a thing? <laughs> or at least deliver them like evenly. Don't just fill up one it and then go to the next one. Making money at least. Oh, that means that we can put another train on here. Uh, not the traveler's one, but the cheese delivery one. We can... Ooh, we got a new truck. Uh, no, new locomotive here soon as well. Uh, so yeah, if we get a this guy, we can have it deliver two guys with cheese. No, only one. I think that's how we're going to have to begin, at least. So are we getting any books here? Yes. Great. Then we are actually producing decently now. 4,830 per minute. That's more than what we need, boys. I think we just turned this around. If we can continue delivering books, this is going to change the whole thing. So if I'm holding books here, they will not even export to connected buildings? What the hell? Why is this game so weird with uh, connection to these? Like, just give them books. Jesus. Let them read. Let the people read. Uh, so, we have our tools that we can actually put a train on now. So we're more or less completely leaning on this book production. If we're not getting the book production to work, we just will not be able to do this. Um, and I honestly don't know what to do to improve the book production. Do we have enough workers now? Not really. So what if we add this? We have these spikes of fuel being delivered. And then we have spikes where we are not delivering any fuel. If we can just round out the fuel production a little bit more than what we currently have, we would be in so good shape. But it's a pain to get that to work, actually. It is a real pain to get that to work. Uh, I think we have another delivery of books coming in here very soon. As long as we can kind of time that with this guy actually having some personnel to work with. I don't see why we couldn't do this. And we actually have... Okay, that's bread. That's not the best. There we have a cheese. If we get cheese to come in and get delivered, he... Somewhat close to when this is delivered. Yeah, it just left. That's actually really good. So our cheese here being delivered, it will start being distributed and people will start moving in. We also have bread. Do we have cheese coming in as well? That's more cheese. So the only thing we're missing now is meat. Well, we're making money again and we just delivered books. Are you working with books? Yes. Are you working very much with books? No, because we have almost no personnel. Why is that? Please move in. Like, quickly. More books is being delivered. Not too much, though. Enough that we can bring it up to about three and a half grand. I think this is exactly as much as we need to be able to continuously produce. Three and a half thousand seems to be the like golden number. So if we can keep it to that, that would be great. Uh, if we need more than that, that's not as great. And now we're having this issue with them moving in between different lanes. So this guy is now going to hold this guy back as he goes to the left. And then this guy is going to hold this guy back as he will go to the right. I feel like this should not be a thing. 
This is so inefficient and it's so obviously inefficient, it should not happen. So consumption 312, you are producing 288. Someone explained to me in the last episode that these don't actually need to connect to everything. It requires a pulp producer connected to it to operate. Pulp producer requires a wood processor connected to it to operate. Okay, I think I understand what people are saying in the comment section now. Let's see if I can replicate that. So if we do this, we can surround it all with this. I think that's what, what you guys meant in the comments. And yeah, if that works, we will be producing a lot more than... We are already producing a lot more, actually. So if I delete this... We did two, 266 before? Let's say 300 was like the sweet spot for us before. Oh, but we still need roads to reach to all of them. Or do we only need roads to reach to the outer edge of them? No, they all need to have an actual connection to them. Okay, so still gonna have to change this around a little bit then. This is a better setup. I honestly don't know. I think this is so confusing to build with. 288. Yeah, it's not that much better, actually. I mean, this one is not being used for anything, really. We could easily do another one of these instead. I don't understand what the ratio is here. How many do we need? Production multiplies if a certain number of structures are adjacent. Yeah, but it doesn't tell you how many. <laughs> Wait, why is... Now I'm so confused. Not only because the game froze and kind of died on me. But why this one not com complaining? Ah, it's complaining about the road. And now it's complaining about wood. Okay. So we only need one for each, each of these. Uh, which means that... Yeah, so our focus should not actually be on... Because these guys just hold a bus bunch of wood. And these are the ones that allow us to produce. Uh, so if we connect that, then you go up to 16, yes. But if we delete these, for example... It doesn't do anything. So we want to use as few of these as possible, and we want to surround this one with it. Got it. So then I think we have a... a goal at least. So let's see if we can realize said goal. This is so weird, because structure needs a connecting road, but then it allows you to build them without it. It's like inconsistent in how it allows you to build stuff. <laughs> Um, and the game itself is lagging so bad. Like down to 4 FPS every now and then. Uh, so like that. That's those two connected. We can use this guy actually to connect that. And then we can use these two. And that guy. That's 500 in a minute. Okay. that's That's how we do it. So you want to minimize the amount of saw dust that you're producing and the lag that you're having. It says I'm on 140 FPS right now, but I can't even move the mouse when that happens. And it's not actually that saving, it's just like shugging sometimes. But yeah, that's good. Then we are producing a lot more now. See? Totally lagging its ass off. But there is no saving. It would say saving in the top right corner if that happened. But it's not saving, it's just lagging. <laughs> and I think honestly it's probably lagging a little bit worse than when it's saving. 
Because when it's saving, I can actually see it like working to save. We're not getting clothes from anywhere for these guys, right? So we could set up one that goes with just tools. Let's have a look at you. Yeah, that works. Make a copy of that. Tell it to do clothes between uh, Nor Novograd. Novograd? What are we calling it? Novgorod. Novgorod. And from Gitare. Gitare. Gitega. I have my own word, or my own name for all these, apparently. We'll go from there, delete you, delete you, go to here, bring close, full, empty. There was not an empty on the other guy, we need to fix that. Nor Sultan for empty cargo and... Oh, and we're running all the trains there. And now they're complaining about not having enough work. These guys are so bipolar, it is insane. Please just go to work. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like we are back in producing a lot of fuel again. And that means that we are... Even building up a little bit here, so when they're coming back, they should all be able to actually get stuff delivered. Set this guy up here. That's good. Then we have the option to deliver guys from here as well. And I think this guy would be selecting like the, the best option. So if we build a train here, it will be available in both, I think. It will not. Can I transfer you send to another train depot? Does that mean that you're available here? Yes. So I can send them in between. At least. That's an option. Okay, I think this is about as much as we can do. How are we doing with this? We can actually produce a bit more now. So if we do this. Oh, we actually need a... Okay. Uh, let's get a church in here, then. Who doesn't build a church in the middle of the potato fields? I think that makes perfect sense. Uh, and then we get... These out. Now oh, you should be producing as well, right? Hell yeah, you are. This is just exploding now. Very good. And we need a tools shop for this town uh, how do we build that there we have a tools shop and we don't need them to be anywhere where they're actually producing some stone please game okay i noticed that one of the paper mills uh, were not actually connected or one of the pulp producers didn't have the uh, wood process processor connected so we just changed that around a little bit and apparently they can be adjacent as well they don't have to be next to each other so that gives us a few more options to produce as well um not we can do anything with it right now but maybe in the future i figure something else out we're using 160 each minute for the diesel. What? How much are we producing then? 140? We need to produce way more. Yikes. Okay. Um, forget the idea of making money of producing. Uh, we are going to just slam down as many of these as we possibly can. Three there, one more. If we can 
get money for more. We're going to build until we can't anymore. Yeah, I think once we get the books up and running, we should be able to do this. So... How much are we producing now? 253. Now it's starting to look a little bit better. Now we can actually... Yeah, this should help. This is not very good. So you are... Waiting for this. You are waiting for him. Is this station full? Why do we have so many trains here? We have three trains on this and we have... A diesel to dub. And we have four trains here. Why? Well, that's unfortunate. We actually were on a good route here. Now we have had fuel stopped up for so long that I'm not sure we're going to be able to keep up with this anymore. Damn it. It's always something happening. It was so long ago that we added uh, the fuel train to Dublin. And somehow we added it twice. And only now does it actually show itself as an issue. Which I guess makes sense, because only now do we actually have enough fuel that we would have trains standing around waiting to, to unload said fuel. Hey, let's let the game run a little bit. Let's see what's happening. Hopefully, if we let this run, it should clear itself out and we will have a lot of fuel available. But it looked like it went very well to begin with. But now there has been no fuel train coming back here in a really long time and I'm starting to get worried. Why are we not seeing trains coming through here? Why are we so slow? What is slowing us down? Not getting them out fast enough. And that's because these guys are actually going... Oh no, okay. Um, so we would benefit from having a four-way intersection right here then. Okay, uh, I'm kind of feeling like I want to rebuild a intersection to make it a little bit bigger. I think we have sort of proven there, you could see that for a while there we actually bumped up to like four grand in, in diesel. And the main reason why we don't have more diesel than, than what we had is because a lot of them is standing stuck here. Because they can't get out. Um, which is funny, why are we... Oh, I'm an idiot, this is an easy fix. This is a super easy fix. We will just do this. Then we will add this to here. For some reason I thought I already had done this. But I guess it was just on the inwards travel that we did it. So let's do this on the outgoing one as well. Okay. So now we just doubled the throughput of the outgoing traffic from here. Which means that we should be doing a lot better. So yeah, I think we can say that we have had a mild success this time around. Uh, I think in the next episode I want to do something else than these three-way intersections and I probably want to rework more importantly, our four-way intersection, because this looks really cool, it looks super complicated, it's because it is super complicated, and with complicated things comes also hard to work with things. And nothing really is more true for this one than that. This is super complicated, and it's so hard to work with. Uh, we have these uh, these bridges now, which is a lot more malleable. You can work with them a lot more easily. So I think next episode maybe we will do a remake of 
a few of our intersections. So maybe I'll even stream it at some point. So hit that subscribe button, I guess, so you don't miss that. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed having you here. I hope you have enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, everyone.